The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, boys. Not Larry Pesavento. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry's hour. I, I know Larry's recuperating. I think he's starting to feel a lot better, but that voice is still a little scratchy. And I think that, you know, the COVID can really knock it out of you. I'm hearing from so many people who got, even after all the different vaccinations and boosters, et cetera, got it and then got it a second time. So it's really it's pervasive okay the the energy gets sapped out of here etc so i wanted to show you this this is the nqu 22 this is the nasdaq uh, this is the september futures one minute chart chapman wave methodology we're always looking for an identifiable low bar and then you count each successively high of peak alphabetize them on the way up capitals on the way down lowercase the the implication on the upside is way more uh, uh, um, important then on the way down, the way down gives me other information, but the notation, the waveform, and the way up says that that fourth highest peak, peak D, is where other things can happen. You can go, you can recycle to a brand new buy mode that takes you to another peak A, B, C, D, or you can just recycle and go to an E, F, or G. There's never an H, but at D, other things can happen. Make it simple, identify a low bar, count each successively higher peak. When it goes from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, it says you should go to at least a D. The Dow's gone to a D, probably a peak D today. The S&P is at a C. I could give an alternative count to say that maybe there's a D. And because of that, there was a, because there was a chance that there's an alternative count so that the S&P also has gone to a D. I'll talk about it in a moment. We, we're very cautious. We've got some very aggressive long positions keep taking profits off it. We want to get into those core positions. That's the one-to-one -one long on the next big pullback, which I think will be occurring sometime this week. Bigger pullback, that is, than the little bit ones that we've had. And I still think that we're everything's improving. We've got to get through the next couple of days to see exactly what's happened, right? So what we're looking at here within the context of just the, the, the little bit that I've told you in the Chapman Wave methodology, this is an identifiable low right here. Here's your, your first peak, peak A, one penny high, in this case a quarter point higher, and it goes to leg B. It's a floating letter. It stays a leg B until it makes a peak, and then it becomes a peak B. One quarter point higher than B and starts a leg C. It stays a floating letter C until it makes a peak. As long as the initial buy signal, as long as the low that made is not taken out, it can pull back all the way to the exact same price. As long as it doesn't take it out by either a penny or in this case in the future by a quarter point, that stays in a an up move. So unless it's the dreaded H pattern that takes out the left side low. So then what you do is you count, I have to go to the next letter, which is alphabetic, E, and it goes immediately to a, a, a D, and it goes immediately to an E. Aha, E starts to pull back to the what? The 200 period moving average. Is this important or is it unimportant? Inverse head and shoulders, um, 200 period moving average acts as a springboard, a magnet and a springboard. Boom, it starts a brand new move, and the new move says peak A, peak B, right there. Peak B, peak C. Do you need all this equipment and everything? No, you can do this. In fact, you can do it just with a naked chart. What do I mean by that? Let's go to this particular chart right here. Let's, let's go, um, let me just click on uh, copy, paste, paste, there it is. Let's change that to a hundred. Let's just change it to a ten-minute chart. Ten-minute chart, um, and let's go to what we're looking at right now. Oh, we're looking at a one-minute chart. Let's go to a one-minute chart. We want apples to apples, right? There's the naked chart or the bear chart right there. Let's just count the count count the waves. Let me count the waves. Is that uh, who's that one? Was Elizabeth Barrett or something? Um, all right, here we go. Peak A. Oh, 
not an up arrow. You don't even need up arrows and all that. You can just make your own little notation that this says that's an up arrow. But the technique is is the, is the marvel here that you can have a technique that. Oops. I can just do that. There it is. That you can have a technique that gives you the wherewithal to be able. What am I doing? The Dow Industrials. Uh, yeah, let's just do the industrials. This is a one minute chart. A, B, C. Underneath it, is there a peak? No, there isn't. Every peak has to be counted. Then it goes D and a very quick E. That usually says be careful because you're about to pull back. And if you pull back enough in time as well as price, um, you can start a brand new buy mode. Well, this also has the characteristic of a Chapman Wave instant restart. Because within two bars, within three bars, I'm sorry, it went to a new recovery high. And it hasn't taken out the left side low. So that says that that E right there could be E slash A, alphabet F slash B. I'm just putting in F. G slash C right there. G slash C. I always put G slash C. I've just modified that over the coming over the last many months saying, hey, it can get there. And then it goes to a D. And that's where you've got to be a little bit careful because a D, other things can happen. And what does it do? At 32,628.16, it goes to 36,628.04. So that is a D. This is a higher high. That becomes an E. And that becomes an F. Down arrow. So that's the naked chart. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the cup formation. I would have drawn in from that high. I would have drawn in a beautiful cup formation that said big gap down, big move up, taking too much time. I couldn't use the, I couldn't have used that as a plumb line. I'd have to use something else as a plumb line. But I don't like to go do that in terms of what we're looking at. I go to the look. It's tough enough to see it rallying, but to see it rallying above here would be extraordinary. So I go to this level here, and I'm already, I'm already by the time I notice it, I'm say over there. I'm saying, you know, it's taking too much time. If I did a left side, right side price time match, oh my goodness, to go from 32,586 all the way to the 32,600s, it's just too much. So I'm saying I will stretch the line to the right, and I'd find a candle that I consider to be one of the most important candles in this particular phase. So I choose a candle, and then I just type in new parallel, and I'll make it green, and I'll see where it goes to. Okay, I don't know where it's going to go to, but I also use the Chapman Wave inside wedge target line. So that just says from a particular left side bar, I draw in a trend line and I make it, oops, and I make it green, dash green. Oh my goodness, already got the music. Green. And then I go dash line. You don't have to have all these techniques. I do it just for demonstration purposes. And then I try to put this in where I think it will fit. And lo and behold, where does it go to? Right there. It goes to, and then I join this line to the to the part that's my target line, and lo and behold, it went within a shorter period to that left side high. And now of looming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, folks. So in the den, Coop said, head and shoulders developing in the NQ. And then I asked, what time frame are you looking at? And he said, I'm looking at the 30-minute chart. Well, lo and behold, look. Chapman Wave Notation, I'm going to get to our call in just one moment. Look at those two doji candles at the bottom. You go peak A, B, C, D. Within three bars, you make a new uh, high, recovery high. That's the Chapman Wave Instant Restart Potential. F slash A, G slash uh, E slash A, F slash B, G slash C. And then it goes D, E, pulls back sharply. That could have been a, a sell, but you, the 9, I'm sure, wasn't under the 14. And it goes to a doji candle high, left side, right side, Coop, you did a great job there. And it plunges down and it goes to where? 32,400. Great eye. Very good. And that's your Chapman Wave notation with nothing but the Chapman Wave letters. I'll be back in a moment with that. But first, we're going to go to our caller. And we've got a right here. We're looking at, I believe it's going to be the dollar with Mike in Ormond Beach, Florida. Hi, Mike. How are you? Oops. Mike there. Hello? Um, is that me? Is Mike still on the line? Okay. Yeah, yeah there he Basil. is. Hi, Mike. Hi. Uh, Basil, I'm looking at the uh, DXY yep, on a daily dollar. and a weekly chart. Um, yes. And do you think we are at some kind of a support level now? Uh, that's a very good question because that's exactly what I've been looking at because when uh, – when I, currencies I can, make, I can tell huge, you my reasoning. Okay, when currencies make huge moves, the sell-off is just either extreme right away because something has just impacted it, or it's a slow grind to the downside, and then you got to look for support levels because you look at the different time frames. So yeah, your thinking is. Okay, well, on the daily chart, uh, I use the EMA and the SMA, and it yes. looks like on the daily chart, we have rejected the 50 SMA, and I keep the SMA on because I know a lot of money managers, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I know they use those um, simple moving averages a lot. Yes. So I like to uh, see well, what they're almost, doing. I, I and then also on Mike. the weekly chart, um, I use an uh, an like the 9 and the 8 EMA, and it looks like we've rejected off of that also. And those two moving averages have acted as support in the past. 
recent past. Yes. So there are a couple of things that I'm looking at. I like to see the smorgasbord of what will the chess set. I want to see everything else that pertains to it when it comes to currencies. So the move that we've got in the monthly uh, down, uh, dollar chart spiking like that to a leg C <coughs> and then pulling back sharply said to me that if by the middle of August the, the dollar is trading under 102.99, that was the high that was made back in January, or was that? I should know by now, March of 2020, I okay. should put that in. March of 2020, um, that's suggesting to me that the consolidation could be a lot deeper. And there's a point where I might even have to, I don't think so, because the MACD and Stochastic in the in a monthly chart are still fantastic. The 9's are way above the 14. I might have to consider that it's an alternate count, except for one thing. 88.25 was the low back in February of 2018. And 89.21, a tad, a, a tad higher, was the low in, um, what was that? I should know because we went long. Uh, back, uh, well, we went long in April, and I think it was February. That was the low in 2021. Let me just double check. I should have put the date, surely. In Jan January of 2021. And, uh, oh, 2021, huh? Yes. So what we're looking at is, uh, within that context, this is still active as a peak C because um, that 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 low wasn't taken out um, of 88.25. So it's still active because if I took it out by one penny, then the whole buy, buy mode is completely negated and now it, it becomes a new whatever, a new, a new, I have to trigger a new buy signal. So far, that's still intact. So I like what I'm looking at. And not only that, if you look economically, and I, I treat the dollar as kind of the, the, the dollar is the icon of respect in the currency world, and the United States is the one that has the, still the best economy. Uh, and that's, I think, what people are looking at. I mean, countries are looking at, and, and banks, huge buyers of the dollar or sellers of, the, of currencies. So I love what I'm looking at in the sense that it's taken a lot of candles to pull back and the whole area of 105, today's low is 105.05, uh, and we're trading at 105.82. It's a green candle, but we've had green candles before. It's attempting to form a base. But to your, to your question, just purely on a technical level, I like, I like your analysis and the fact that we've got the euro, which instead of breaking out decisively, which it needs to do in this particular pattern, Am I going to be able to get rid of that remote, get rid of that, and get rid of that? It, in fact, is having a big red day today, and it's gone back into underneath the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So that, And together with the GDX, which is looking, I mean, it's nice, but it's not great. It's saying to me that this move in, the, in, in gold, the move in the euro, hasn't found the kind of in other words, you've got a little bit of torque, but it hasn't mm -hmm. moved up to the next bunch of gears. It isn't. It, there's no real momentum to it. Technically, they are, there is momentum to the MACD and the stochastic in the uh, in in the GDX, the gold miners, but I haven't seen the price movement, in, in the comparable price movement. So I'm kind of in your camp right now. I'm looking to see whether or not the dollar holds here. The consolidation uses up more time. Because if you look at the peak D that's made in the um, weekly chart, it's, it went under the nine period moving average, and and so far it's above it, but the week has just really just begun, and it's way above the 104.60 14 period moving average, and to get the nine to close under the 14 at any point, you would have to see the dollar at about 102.30 or 101.80. And at this particular point from the pattern I'm looking at, it's more just been a slow grind of profit taking than anything else. If I see the dollar just slide right through 104, uh, 104.60 at any point, I will say, hey, I got to respect that. And now the mm -hmm. do so the, the dollar in the daily is in a sell mode. 
the weekly hasn't even triggered a sell signal yet. It's going to take a lot to even get to a sell signal. So I, I, I think the dollar for now is done in terms of the 109.29 high that was made on the 19th of July. But, and I don't think the consolidation is finished. But the last consolidation, you can see, took time and a little bit of price from 105.79 that was back in mid-June. And then it immediately, within two days, made a low. And then it went sideways before it made the H pattern with the successful move to the upside. So those are the parameters I'm looking at right now. Do you have a position or is this just something that you're looking at? Um, I'll hold through the break, Basil. Okay, good. I'd like to speak to you about it. We'll be back in a moment. Basil Chaplin, this is the uh, Larry Pesaventa's Hour. I'm sitting in for Larry. Basil Chaplin here. I'll be back in a moment. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. After that Mozart overture, we're going right back and we're going to talk about the dollar with Mike in Ormond Beach. So, Mike, yes, you were saying. Yes, uh, so so basically you have two areas of support, 104, I think you said 60, yes. and 102. Uh, basically, if we break below that, then most likely, you know, the support has broken and we're going lower. And, and two things that are really important about just in terms of time, if you look at this beautiful cup formation that was formed in the dollar index in the monthly chart, um, time says... You've had, you know, my rule of one, three, six, one bar rest is fantastic. Three bars is, is good. When it gets to six bars, you have to really restart a whole new buy signal or, or sell signal to trigger some kind of support. Um, so that that's kind of important as well. I just wanted to show you something here that I'm going to do. And this is what a lot of people will do in terms of, uh, let me make that blue and then make this pink. 
uh, in terms of the one to one to the downside. And for me, the rule is in the Chapman Wave one to one expansion, you've got to see the same number of bars. You remember, I'm always in matching bar sequences. So to me, mm -hmm. it's really important that uh, if the dollar is going to continue down, if people are either short the dollar or they long the euro or gold, uh, expecting a much bigger move in those in those areas, then you want to see, I'm just changing this to 70%. Then the area of one to one would take the dollar down and it needs to be by the fourth, which is by Thursday or Friday, it needs to be at the 104.62. That's exactly the, what we're looking at for 104.61 is the 14-period uh, exponential moving average in the weekly chart, key support. It hasn't closed under it since it broke above, this is unbelievable, in the weekly chart, since it broke above, in this one technical indicator, since it broke above in um, the week of the 10th of September, 2021, actually, it crossed positive before that, and that was in about a year ago, um, right there. Yeah, Ju June 25th, the week of the 25th of June, 2021, <clears throat> the nine period crossed over the 14 period, and it hasn't the price of, of the dollar hasn't closed under that once, and the nine has not even gotten close. Occasionally it's gotten close, but it hasn't broken underneath. So that is still a buy mode in the weekly chart. So that's kind of important to me. So the one to one would say by about this, by say by the end of the week, if we close under 104.62, let's call it 104.60. Then, then it says that the dollar uh, daily <coughs> is probably going to test the, the, the rebound area that was the low of 103.67 on the 27th of June, and that's going to be really important to hold. But if there is a bounce, what we could do, and I, this is what I'm, I'm thinking, that the dollar actually stays in a trading band. It's at 105.89, mm -hmm. a trading band between 107.15-ish. And a hundred, and it could even test 10460. I'm just saying, if it closes on a weekly basis, that's going to be the first time that you've seen that nine period moving average. Uh, sorry, the 14 period moving average with the price below it on a closing basis. It hasn't done that, um, so that's really important. So I think it's kind of in a trading band. And just to put it together with gold, because I don't think for the show I've done gold today. Gold hit the 50 period exponential moving average at 1805 and pull back a little bit, it's a 1796, this is leg B, the MACD strong, stochastic's fabulous at 90%, this is gold, on balance volume is, is weak, but it is rallying, relative strength is good, it's at about 56%, and the nine has just yesterday crossed over the 14 period moving average, <laughs> so for subscribers, we have got a gold position, because I do believe that gold in this particular phase has rebound strength, to see some of the some of those gold stocks move nicely percentage wise, and then maybe they have to do a retest on the downside. So that's kind of my thinking right now. Consolidation going on in the dollar, no question about it. It is. It's the weekly chart that so far has held really well. I don't know if that fits in with kind of what you're looking at. Yes, uh, yeah, that and taking a long position in the UUP. Yeah, so, so the UUP. Um, it's, it's a strange vehicle, the UUP. Um, thank goodness we got in. Let me just see here, UUP. So we've been long the UUP, which is the dollar bull. It's called the dollar bull. And I uh, just want to double check here. So at, along at 23.62, uh, the 6th of, of April 2018, and we've taken two bits off. We took one one at, at 96 uh, uh, in the in the, the in the dollar that was at 25.94 uh, for a, about a 10 percent gain, and then we took off again at 28.86 for a 22 percent gain. And I'm still I still think that the U UUP looking out is still acting really well. So. Um, Right now, I would find it a little difficult to get into because I think the consolidation could go a little longer. But right. um, looking out, I don't really want to change our long-term position in the UUP, the dollar power shares, DB, US dollar bull. I hope that helps right. you. Yes, it does. And I'd like to add one thing, Basil, from listening to you uh, through the years, you've taught us the importance of the moving averages. And 
I keep those on my charts because uh, a lot of times I can't be in front of the computer and I have to trade off the charts I see on my phone. And it's just so much quicker to have, you know, those moving averages on my chart because it gives me a quick, you know, a quick analysis. Uh, is this going to be support or, or resistance? So I want to thank you for teaching us that. That's a great pleasure. Thank you. I, uh, to hear that is very, very heartwarming. And thank you very much. And congratulations on being able to use that successfully. Thank you for calling. Always appreciate it. Okay, Basil. Bye. Okay. okay. So that, that was Mike in Ormond Beach. And we were looking at the dollar. Now let's do a couple of other things. So I, I want to do this because it's so important. There's no other way. I, you know, I'm one of those people. The reason why... I've actually formulated all these different techniques is because I have a terrible time listening. Always had that from school because what would happen is, yeah, I'm right on the ball. I'm listening. Everything's just cool. And then the person would say, oh, and something. And I'd say, that is interesting. And all of a sudden, my mind is wondering because I've, I've now gone off into it. I've, I've taken what was said. I'm using what was said to, to, to say, is it possible to use it in my way? So I've always had to re basically reinvent, as my wife says, you love to reinvent the wheel. Oh, that's the way it is. That's the only way I can really remember things. So all of these techniques, even the waveform, the channel waveform is, is, I didn't go out searching for it. I did technical analysis. I used to hand draw um, and I used to, so I started notating A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I figured it's like, like the piano, you never get an H. And it also has quadrants like the piano chord. There was a lot of, I'm a professional musician for years, I haven't done that for a long time, but I was a professional musician, um, and degree, and I have a number of different things. Uh, but the, the real issue here is that I'm also very visual. So I can see things. You see this beautiful cup formation that's forming right here? And I haven't been able to, I wasn't able to choose the right fulcrum. So I just left it aside, but now I am. And I'm going to say that this is the way I'd be looking at this particular pattern right now. I want to do this live because it's all very well to say to you, oh, we had some fantastic positions, blah, blah, blah. What does that mean? It means nothing to you. Because if you join my, my, my service, you're doing it fresh. And you're going to be looking to say, okay, what if you, I was a performer, so I understand the question. That's fine. What are you going to do for me next? It's like you're at a restaurant. You know, what's the next meal going to be? Well, well, you know, it's all very well. So I'm trying to do this live to show you the techniques that I'll be showing you. Very simple techniques. Uh, Wednesday a week when I do my all day webinar. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN. Educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, folks, I'm doing this live. I'm doing this live for only one reason. Because I want to demonstrate to you that there are a lot of different techniques that can be used. And I do not dismiss anyone's technique. If you have a technique that has produced good results, why on earth would I even say to you, ah, it's no good? You know, no, every single technique that you do, you've got to do it methodically. You've got to do it over and over again to develop a good, a consistency that 60% is no good. I think it's over 70% success rate says that's a particular particular technique that that is demonstrating that it is viable. And if you manage your uh, losses very well, you know, Larry always says, it's not the gains, it's the losses. So look, here's a technique that I'm using. Um, let me just go back. This is I'll go to the TQQQ because not everybody uses futures. Just to show you, I drew this in here. See, there it is. So I drew this in because I said that I wasn't happy. I wasn't able to do the exact left side, right side price time match. And then, of course, I got a call. So this is really what I'm looking at right here. And what I did was I went to the right side. And I drew this in. This is the Chapman wave. I'd already drawn this in as Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line. What does that mean? It means that if you are able on the left side to take a particular point and join it to the first big spike or spike up or spike down, and that can give you a directional move, you've now got what you can use as well besides the fulcrum that, that, that um plumb line, I mean, I'm just trying to find, there it is. The plumb line, in this particular case, I use that candle. Normally, I'd want to use the low because it, it is a low with a doji candle. It went under the 200 period moving average briefly and then went up, and that would be my low. But in fact, I said, you know what, I'm going to be a little conservative. I can move it to the right. But what I want to do is to demonstrate that by... Um, 11.45 on the one-minute chart, the TQQQ could hit, uh, what am I talking about? I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, uh, 33.61. Well, lo and behold, it's gone to 33.51, and I would have said, you know what, I love what's going on, but I think it's important, and I would explain why I'm moving to the exact, what I think is a fulcrum, even though it made a lower low in the dreaded H pattern, I would move that, and that says, I'm going to give it a little more time, it's done everything I want, but it's only in leg, whatever it is, let me just go to that, um, new parallel, so of course, people will say, well, I don't have all these tools, yes, you do, everybody has a parallel line, and that's all you need. I'm using this. I've got the stuff. Why should I not use it on TradeStation? Not everybody has the same. Their, their thing is to really have a terrific panoply of tools for drawing, drawing tools. And that, I love that. I loved it from the very beginning when they were super charts back in 1989 or 92 or whatever it was um, before they became tra uh, TradeStation. So this is it. We've got peak A. Gray A, because I haven't got any confirmation yet. But there's another technique that I will teach. And that is a technique 
that says money management. What do you do when you haven't got a confirmation that this is a, a, a buy signal to buy mode and then when you finally get it, you're almost at D? Well, money management says as soon as that 9 crosses the 14, that's a chance for you to at least enter. And you know where your stop is? I, I always make a really tight stop and you'll see what happens. So we'll come back to this, all right? In the meantime, let me just see what the ESU has done. Same thing. I could be using any time frame. It doesn't matter. ESU 22. There we go. ESU 20. It's one of those days, huh? There it is. And there's your left side, right side price time match. And it was to the lower level. To go to the upper level, I was, I'm a little suspicious when you've got one or two beautiful cup formations that have actually worked. Um, to expect the third one is really something. So this is the one I think is going to make it a little tougher, and we'll see what happens. I'd be using money management absolutely here. I would not be playing any games because this is the one that is most likely to either break out sharply and I'll say, oh, or to suddenly fail because it's really struggling hard. And look at the MACD. It's not anywhere close as strong as it was. The stochastic is it's good at 87%, but it's starting to pull back. So this is the pattern that I'd be looking at, and I'd, I'd be real tight in uh, parameters. All right, we'll get back to that. So let's just do this. So the GDX, which is the gold miners ETF, market vectors gold miners ETF, Nice leg. It's only a leg A because that left side low at 24.38, 24.38 on the 25th was a little bit lower than the one that was made around about the 13th or so. So there's your dreaded H pattern. Oh, and I'll be talking about this all the time as we do the as we do the 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 live webinar. Uh, look at this. I'm only looking at basically three patterns. One is. A straight line up or a straight line down. The other is the cup formation and the other is the arch. This is a combination of one and two or one and three. One and three is when you make an H pattern fail at a peak A or a B and you come back and retest and take out the left side low. And this is one and two where you rally and you take out that left side high, preferably within a war, uh, just a trough A or a trough B um, and preferably in the shortest time span. And that's really bullish. Well, what are we looking at here? Um, we're looking at the GDX, constantly makes this dreaded H failure pattern look over and over, a big one, small one, doesn't matter, it makes them, and it keeps coming down. Then it did the one-to-one -one and expansion to the downside in a longer time frame. And what happened is when it, it hit 24.38 um, 24 on the 23rd, a couple of things kicked in. Let me just show you here vertically. Look. A beautiful V-shaped pattern at the exact bottom with the on-balance volume. Does that work every time? No, but it did it here. Nice takeoff. The, the stochastic, the MACD was already for about six sessions turned green. The nine-period differential was already above the slow-moving average, the 26-period moving average. The histogram was already moving up. Uh, it was just about a cross positive. The stochastic was under 20%. Never got to the single digits. It was there way back in June. But all of a sudden, it's looking good. So that says to me, why? If I was looking at the technicals, and I, I would say um, that this particular instrument was at 24. And now the MACD is very strong. The uh, stochastics at gone from under 20% to 60%. The on-balance volume, the blue line, has gone really high. Where do you think this is? I would have said it must be 2780 to 2830. It could even be a little higher. No, it's at 26. It's at 2668. So it's kind of lagging, but it is a single leg A, which is a good sign. But look at these single leg A's that have failed before. So I'm beginning to say I like the action in relation to what happened to the dollar pulling back. But I'm not happy that the GDX, which is the gold miners, Look at, the, look at gold. Gold is having a much better rally than the gold miners, and the stochastics are really at 91%. Why is the GDX lagging? And that's a big question for me. I don't know if I can answer it right away. Oh, there's only one more segment to go. I'll be back in a moment. Bells of Chapman sitting in for the Larry Pesaventa Hour.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, we're back. This is the, the final segment coming up. So I just wanted to show you the ESU, the 10-minute uh, chart did go using the phantom peak, went to a peak D, pulled back very sharply from the 4110 area or 4108, and then plummeted down below 4080, and now it's trading at 4122, the chapter with arch from a cup formation that says it should start to make in a shorter time frame higher highs and higher lows and should go to just under right on or just above the previous high and then you got to assess what happens so so far i like what i'm seeing it's a digestive session that we've been anticipating for the chapman wave um, um, for my opening call subscribers you can be a subscriber now what happens is the moment you subscribe um uh, you have 30 days in which to test it out but if you do my webinar coming up a week from wednesday you get one month free um, you also get so basically you're paying 130 something dollars for the for the for the course itself and the information is really invaluable i mean this is stuff that people have been using since i came to tfnn 20 years ago moving averages all this all the thing counting the waves etc it really does have someone said it really helps give you a sense of both structure and support levels etc and you can use it look going to the one minute e mini chart i drew in the left side right side price time match and i said look there should be some resistance there we almost got to there peak c1 i'll teach you about peak c2 c3 and c4 what it means what's the implication and that very often when you make peak c1 c2 if you go to c3 or c4 they often pop up to a d eventually 
So that's the way it is. So I'm going to wrap it up right now. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. And um, Larry, I believe, is improving, and that's fantastic. We want him back. It's really, he's, he's, he's a huge resource here at TFNM. We love to have him um, for years and years. He's just added to everything. What with all the people, the hosts that we have, each one has something so special. It, it just You can hear from comments made, you know, people are really enjoying TFNM. Throughout the day, we're here, and we try to help. That's what we try to do. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Great programming coming up for the rest of the day. I'll be back with Tom at about 3 3.15.